this October 20th through the 22nd, TFCon Orlando at Doubletree by Hilton Hotel Orlando at SeaWorld with special guests Bob Budiansky, Victor Caroli, Dan Gilvison, Gary Chalk, Richard Newman, Alex Milne, David Sobloff, and Casey Kohler. Meet mediocre YouTubers, Bert the Stormtrooper, Deluxe Baldwin, Diecast Norbs, Engineer Hoist, Fire Talks, Ghost Prime, Kato's Collection, Patriot Prime, Rodimus Primal, and Treebot. If you see them, make sure and say hi. You'll most likely find them at the bar. That's TFCon Orlando in October. Be there! Patriot Prime Reviews is a channel for adult collectors and may not be suitable for children under 13 years of age. Viewer discretion is advised. This video is sponsored by ToyHacks.com. They're your one-stop shop for reproduction decals for your vintage G1 Transformers and upgrade decals for your modern box. Weaponry for your figures from the Toy Hacks Armory and great looking backdrops for your display from Toy Stages. And when you visit ToyHacks.com, make sure and use my monthly promo code to save 15% off your order. So yes, 15% off when you use my promo code right here. So check out ToyHacks.com and make your collection stand out from the rest. And tell them Patriot Prime sent you. Now, on to the video. The feature bot in this video is the brand new Transformers Legacy Evolution Bombshell. We're finally completing the original G1 Insecticon. So taking a quick look at the packaging, we've got Bombshell himself behind the open window where you can reach in and mess with him if you like. Transformers on the side, Transformers Legacy Evolution. Great looking artwork of Bombshell in his beetle mode flying in for the attack. This side of the box features artwork of Bombshell in robot mode, an up close shot of his face, and Bombshell opening fire. Back of the packaging features product shots of Bombshell in robot mode, bug mode, and Evo Fusion. This side of the packaging features the Legacy Evolution artwork that we have seen since day one. So now, without further ado, let's get Bombshell opened up out of this packaging and check him out. Don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, and welcome to Patriot Prime Reviews. Now, once you get Bombshell all opened up and out of the packaging, you'll see he does come with a sheet of instructions that, as usual, is very well illustrated and easy to follow. He also comes with these two little black blaster slash insect legs, and he comes with his silver pistol. Then, of course, we've got Bombshell himself. In robot mode, Bombshell looks really good and is a combination of his G1 cartoon appearance along with the toy. In the cartoon, Bombshell was not purple, that was all gray. Now, Bombshell is also a heavy retool of Legacy Shrapnel. Bombshell shares the same bicep, forearm, and fist along with the entire lower body with Shrapnel there. The only difference is the torso, shoulders, and head. Now taking a closer look at the figure, he looks really, really good. I love the looks of this guy. That purple and black absolutely pops. Not to mention, I love how Hasbro does this translucent, cloudy cover that they've done on all the Insecticons so far. Head sculpt looks really good. He's got a gray head with a silver mouth plate with red eyes, then you've got the Cerebro Shell Launcher right here on top of his head, done up in silver with some gold paint right there. And as you can see, there is some purple paint that has scuffed off from the chest, and I'll explain why that is later on. Yellow there for the shoulders. Moving on down, let's see, the rest, black and gray. He does have these little leg pieces, insect leg pieces sticking up up, up, ah, excuse me, up off the top. That's very faithful to how he looked in G1. 
Uh, articulation for bombshell is the launcher can move back and forth, and there is a little, I don't know what this is, some kind of little hinged piece right here on his back that I think you can flip up and snap in place to kind of lock that mortar in position in robot mode so it doesn't fall all the way down unless you really try to make it. It's not explained in the instructions. I'm not sure what that is, but there's that piece right there that snaps in place if you want to do it. So we'll go ahead and pop that back down. The head can only rotate so far to the side. Arms can go up, they can go down, they can do a complete 360. <clears throat> rotate at the bicep, bend at the bicep, no wrist rotation. There is waist rotation. Legs can go forward, they can go back, they can go out. Oh, they go out all the way. There is a nice deep knee bend, ankle tilt, very tight ankle tilt, and rotation. So he's got lots of articulation, except for the fist. Now let's go over the accessories. He's got his blaster and these little black pieces. Now I'm going to go ahead and go over the Evo Fusion gimmick first. It shows you attaching the black pieces to the side of the gun like so. So you've got this triple barrel blaster. We'll put that in his hands so you can see what that looks like. So you've got that going on right there. But in all honesty, these black pieces are supposed to go under his arms. And I'll go over that here later on. But just peg those in so they're pointing out like so. You'll see that there's an indention right there, so it goes right over that port flush. So get that down. So this is how I am going to use those extensions on my bombshell. It's kind of a throwback to the G1 toy. You see how he has the little launchers there beside his fist, and I like that. So that's pretty much it for bombshell in his robot mode. Well, one more thing, his blaster, little arm cannons and Cerebro shell launcher are all blast effect compatible. So he can really open fire. So there you got bombshell all armed and ready for battle. So now let's get him transformed into his insect mode. We'll go ahead and remove the gun. You can leave the forearm launchers in place. Take the blast effects off. First thing we're gonna do is take this piece right here and we're going to clip it in right there where that slot is and that's why it has some paint wore off it fits right in there nice and tight so when you pull it out you may get some paint chip off so i'm not sure if that's gray all gray painted or it's coming off the chest but either way watch out for that so go ahead and peg that in it's a nice tight fit go ahead and fold the fist in here rotate at the waist and then you've got these panels right here on the front of the legs you're going to flip up and just collapse these in and over just like we did with shrapnel there are pegs right there i don't know if you can see them with the black they're pegs that go into the slots right there below the yellow so go ahead and peg the legs together here and line this up. I forgot to fold the feet back. That's the problem. So fold the feet back. Now this will go all the way in to where that'll snap in place. Bring the arms down just like so. Rotate the fist around so the launchers are facing down. And then peg the arms up inside the body. And there we have Bombshell in his beetle mode. And you see right here, this is what I was talking about. Those should be attached at the forearm because that's what keeps the bug stabilized. If you didn't have those in, he'd be front heavy or back heavy. Either way, he would flop around. Let me show you. So, yeah, there you go. So you have to have these in. I hate the fact that those are parts forming as far as transforming bombshell is concerned but he stole shrapnel's arms and shrapnel had 
the same thing. So bug mode. He's got some nice paint applications on bug mode. You got the blue right here on top of the shell, some red striping along the side, everything else you've already seen in robot mode, though you do get more yellow there for the sides. And he looks pretty good. He's very, very G1 looking. Let me bring in G1 bombshell here for comparison. Transform this guy really quick for you. One of my favorite Insecticons right here. So there is G1 Bombshell compared to the new Legacy version. Now, I do wish the Legacy version had a longer uh, Cerebro shell launcher. And I wish it was Chrome, but I've been complaining about that with the Legacy Insecticon since they first came out. Now, a fault I see with the Insect mode is there's not enough coverage right there to hide the robot head. You can look right in and see Bombshell's face. So I wish either they gave us more coverage with the hood or they extended up the shoulder pylon. See how G1 has the shoulder pylons a little higher and his head sunk in? That hides his head completely in insect mode with G1. I wish that carried over for Bombshell right here. Now you can also take Bombshell's weapon and you can attach it in either one of these ports here on top. So you've got that going on. I'm really not a big fan of that. I wish the weapon could hide underneath just like it did with Shrapnel and Kickback, but it doesn't, so oh well. So there you go guys, there is Bombshell in his beetle mode. And now for some quick size comparisons, here is Transformers Legacy Evolution Bombshell with Generation 1 Megatron, Generation 1 Bombshell, Combiner Wars Bombshell, Legacy Kickback, and Legacy Shrapnel. And of course, I have to have a picture of all three together. Minor nitpicks aside, Transformers Legacy Evolution Bombshell is a pretty good Transformers toy and a great reuse of an existing mold. I mean, Legacy's been knocking it out of the park with their remolds lately. It's great to complete the three main Insecticons, but I really hope that we get the deluxe Insecticons that was teased on the Legacy artwork. So, does a Transformers Legacy Evolution Bombshell belong in your collection? Absolutely, especially if you have the other two, you have got to complete the trio. Now guys, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, and don't forget to click that bell icon to get notified when I upload new videos. Also, if you're in any position to help out the channel, I do have a super thanks button, and I also offer channel memberships. And I have to give a huge shout out and thank you to all my current channel members, because it's your support that helps keep this channel going. Once again, guys, this is Patriot Prime signing out. Hoo-ah!